I literally ran to my room like Usain Bolt to film this because I got the idea to do it literally as soon as I found out about it. I'm out of breath, but I am going to review, well, respond to art, art review, art review, ARTV reviews of Chase Atlantic's Phases album. My name is John and it's time for another episode of Rock Gone Wrong, Chase Atlantic edition. Their new record Phases just dropped and their label was practically begging me to cover this. Five emails in total. Here's a couple for proof. That Hold on, I have to read these because I'm curious because I'm like, what? Okay, okay, skipping over this. There, about a month and a half before this record even came out, they started sending it to me. So, hey, Madden Company over there, if I'm not actually a music critic, then why the hell is your team sending it to me? Rock Gone Wrong is not the right term for this episode, but it's the closest that I can get because I'm not going to make an episode called Dark Alternative R&B Pop Meets Occasional Hip Hop and Rock Gone Wrong. It's just too complicated. They don't really have a genre, but go on. Genre's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna be that fan. For a mental image of what their music sounds like, imagine if you hotboxed to the Supreme store with a jewel and made music after listening to nothing but The Weeknd in the 1975 for months on end. Out comes Chase Atlantic, not so fresh from the oven. The Weeknd is- To be fair, my mom once said that listening to their music was the equivalent of walking into a Zoomies, so you're wrong. Just kidding. Like, for real. In the 1975 are both artists that I generally like, especially the 1975, but Chase Atlantic are missing one gigantic element that makes their music work so well. Personality! Chase Atlantic seem to believe that personality is something that you can buy at the store, but mood and tone should come naturally during the recording process for an album, an EP, or a single, which is probably why what the majority of what I'm hearing here sounds forced or even downright fake. Okay. I saw numerous links in those emails to Stuck in My Brain. Did he listen to that? Because to me, that has a lot of emotion and personality behind it. In my opinion, kind of raw and it's very um, well put together. Like it's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm scattered, but <laughs> it's really about battling your demons and I think that it really, to me, is probably one of the better tracks on the album because it has that feature that he says that everything is lacking, which I disagree with. Um, I even can feel a lot of emotion when I listen to her, especially the part it, towards the end where he's saying like, um, I could spend forever and a day with her. I don't want to live it if it ain't with her. That part too, I kind of like, I got my feelings with that because I was like, oh damn, and love is not easy. Like, <laughs> That has a lot to me of emotion and personality in it. And I just, I think Heaven and Back has a cool flair too. So like, I don't see where personality is lacking. The writing ranges from self-loathing to downright degrading in places, bouncing violently between topics of mental health to the classic stealing yo girl and putting a molly on her tongue. Nothing like a good old fashioned mental image of these <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make that my Twitter bio. Like this video, leave me a comment, retweet this shit on Twitter if you think I should make that my Twitter bio, cause I will. It's wider than even me dudes in Chase Atlantic rolling up in their Gucci fanny packs to <laughs> fuck on my bitch. I'm shaking over here. Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's being really serious about this, but this is how the fandom talks about the guys all the time. So it's just funny to me, like, you claim to hate them, but you sound just like us, dude. Sorry, you sound like the ones you say hate you hate so much. You sound just like us. And for what it's worth, they did a better job at blending pop, rock, and R&B on their debut self-titled album. It's a record that I really don't mind at all. In fact, there's some good songs on there that I do enjoy. It's just kind of wild to see how self- Continue streaming, consume. Bit backwards it seems, with their image and lyrics feeling like the perfect blend of a try-hard relatable fuckboy next door that also might have feelings and could listen to you talk for hours about life under the bright light of an aesthetically pleasing neon sign. <laughs> it's why the young people today eat that shit up and sh Again, I'm I, he's being dead serious, but like this is the way that like we joke about their music and shit. Like I feel like he went from like 
talking about how horrible we were to being like, you know what, I'm gonna go through their Twitters, I'm gonna steal all their stupid jokes about this band. Continue. Illustrious instrumentals work their hardest to make this album have some sort of shine or dazzle to it, but it falls short nearly at every turn. Like low-key sax solos that feel about as human as Buzz Lightyear. But no, 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 no. I think part of what makes Chase's sound unique and really, really cool and really interesting is the saxophone. Um, I actually sent one of their songs from one of the three part EPs to my friend that used to work with me. And she sent back like, oh my God, they're amazing. Do you know if they have an actual sax player or is that like electronically added in? And I was like, no, they have a real sax player. His name is Clinton. And I sent one of their music videos and she's like, that is amazing. She was like, how many bands have a like live saxophone player? Like aside from stuff like John Bellion who has like a full band like with him at any given time and they have saxophones and trombones and trumpets and all that stuff. This is a band that's your typical, I say typical, like, band that's like a lead guitar, a bass guitar, and drums, but they have a saxophone too. So to me, I think that's part of what makes them unique and to tear them down and say they don't have any personality or any uniqueness, and yet they have that saxophone added in that's not just a sound bite, it's an actual saxophone, not coming from a computer, not coming from, from a piano, to me, makes it different. Why in the world would you say it doesn't? On most tracks, Mitty takes the lead, and it's honestly saddening to see how much he's attempting to sound like literally anyone else in the pop trap crossover R&B field. I don't agree with that either. Um, I really don't. And let me tell you how much um, that that's kind of, in my opinion, not correct either. Um, my dad literally, you know, he's gone enough from my house to where when I'm listening to music and cleaning and stuff like that, he doesn't hear it. He also doesn't listen to my music when we get in the car. Most of the time I put on something that we both like. However, when I had on Chase Atlantic the other day and was listening to them while I was cleaning and he was actually in the house, he didn't know the song from Adam, came in and was like, is that Chase Atlantic? And I was like, yeah. And he said, you can't mistake that dude's voice anywhere. He's like, it's really, really distinct. It's different. And I was like, yeah, I think so too. So for a 50 something year old man who doesn't know anything about this band outside of his daughter's in love with them and has, goes to see them all the time, to know what they sound like without knowing their music at all, kind of to me says something more than just, oh, he tries to sound like everybody because if he tried to sound like everybody, he wouldn't know who that was from Adam. Her is a really solid banger that calls back to what I did like about their first record. The spacey atmosphere works really well to drive heaven and back, pushing more of a synth pop agenda musically, which works a lot better for the vocals. I will agree with that. Her is a bop. The whole fandom, I feel like, sleeps on her. It literally, like, sleeps on her. And I love that song so much. It's definitely within my top five on this album. Thank you for that. Please continue pushing her if you want to. Instead of focusing in on what really worked for them on their debut self-titled album, they spread their cheeks wide and shit out the likes of Too Late and Even Though I'm Depressed. The Too Late is my favorite song on this album. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I'll be interested to hear what he has to say, but like, I like Too Late. Um, yeah, that, this right here, I'm just gonna say it, Consume Walked, So Too Late Can Run absolute worst songs on this record no. too late is that classic i stole your girl haha ha, that she likes me that she's gonna date me and not go back to you moment that we all love and cherish so dearly you're too late had your girlfriend at my house for two days Should my guess is either the cornrow braids or the supreme fanny pack he's right pause he doesn't have cornrow braids that's actually like a whole thing um, I'm in the Twitter roleplay community. Um, people try to fight that all the time. They're not actually cornrows because they hang down. From what I understand, cornrows, like, go back. Somebody can correct me if you want, you know. But, yeah, um, I've actually had a friend who is African American tell me that what he is doing is not cultural appropriation and the way that he wears his hair is, like, perfectly fine. So it's not actually cornrows, it's just braids. But anyway. Slide in, put that bitch beside me. Classic objectification, nice. Saying this, I'm gonna bet she'll date me. Uh, 
Okay, if you're gonna call out every person that says bitch in re reference to a female, like, you're gonna have to, you'd spend all day, you would have to call out every rapper, even female rappers, even Nicki Minaj, even Cardi B, even just anybody. People say that bitch for everything. So you can't really hold that against Chase Atlantic without holding that against everybody else. So. Can we just get past this dumbing down of other human beings to making it seem like they are nothing more than leverage in an argument like, oh, you better back up, bro. I'm going to date them, bro. Uh, you watch out or I'm going to fight you, which actually leads us perfectly into our next song, even though I'm depressed. Also, go back to what I was saying. I don't agree with the objectification of women calling them bitches, whatever. I, but the thing is, is like, Everybody calls everything a bitch, like I said. I'm not for the objectification of women, but like it's never come across to me. Like none of their lyrics have ever really come across to me that way. You know. I don't know. Just none of them I was I've never been like offended by Chase Atlantic song, if that tells you anything, so constantly and obnoxiously fluctuating between the thought of I hate my life, but life is beautiful. If it was just the Who doesn't think that? Anyway, I'd probably go a little bit less hard on this one and I would have some show of good faith for Chase Atlantic, but they use mental health here as a topic to get people paying attention to get everyone in the door and caring like it's all serious, but then they flirt with it like it's a girl. And Stop. I'm going to see Spider-Man. I don't want to be out in this. Anyway. Across the bar that possibly just winked at you, but you know that they probably didn't. Things cross a line in the second verse where many- I'm really confused. What? Okay, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up, because I'm confused. Very confused. Here is a topic to get people paying attention to get everyone in the door and caring like it's all serious, but then they flirt with it like it's a girl across the bar that possibly just winked at you, but you know that they probably didn't. Things cross a line- Take a shot for every time a music critic tells, or music YouTuber, whoever. Anybody who critiques music takes somebody singing about mental health and says that it's, you know, for promotional purposes or it's for, you know, corporate purposes or it's to sell or whatever or to appeal to a certain audience. Like, ugh. I hear enough of that in the 21 Pilots fandom, but this, this is not, yeah. I don't take it as that either. Um, again, I'm somebody with mental illness. I have an anxiety and depression diagnosis. I didn't find this to be offensive. If anything, I was like, yo, same, like, life sucks some days and I hate it, but more times than not, it's beautiful, so. You're taking care of your mental health by punching anyone that might say something to you? No wonder this asshole reminds me so much of Ronnie Rapke. Oh, no. Pa no, 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 no. Ronnie Radke is a sexual predator and an asshole. Mitchell Cave is so nice and is, yes, he said to drag you on Twitter, but that's after you kept coming for us. He's not going to put up with you coming for his fans, and that's just what it is. Never compare Mitchell Ma <laughs> Never compare Mitchell Cave to Ronnie Radke because they are not the same person. That just kind of sent me because Ronnie Radke is like on a whole other planet of asshole where they, like Mitchell is so far away from that he can't even see it. Like, no. Somehow when they bring in the saxophone for mood, it just feels like an unhappy marriage between two things that probably shouldn't be together. And in this scenario, I'm the scared child cowering in the corner that just wants to get the hell out of there. Many of these trends. Again, I don't agree with the saxophone bit. If I knock my phone over, I'm gonna scream. Anyway. This almost certainly will secure itself a spot on my year end worst list. Now, if you made it Okay, you can have your opinion. You're you're free to have it. It's a free country. I'm sorry it keeps falling. Anyway, you can have your opinion, what have you. But to me, I might like leave this as I'm just gonna like say this real quick, but I'm gonna like close up my thoughts in a second. But to me, I feel like a lot of the feelings about this album came from the reaction of fans to what you said. I'm leaving it that right now because I'm going to come back to it.
phases and then this and this and this this guy's irrelevant who asked you everything like that well first of all who asked me the band's fucking management team reached out to me many times as i said already people are going crazy on me including like the band's representation like josh madden who works for madden the label that they're a part of that because yes they were awful yes they kept pushing my buttons and i just kept pushing the buttons back as in mutant block and the button here that I'm talking about was MIDI from this band. Wait, wait, wait. You kept pushing the buttons as in mute and block. Yes, you mute and hit. Yes, you muted and blocked a couple people from the fandom. However, you pushed buttons back. You kept coming back at us. You kept coming back at us and like arguing with us. Like, yes, our fan base is a variety of ages. For instance, I'm in my 20s. We have people, I think, as young as like 13 and 14 in the fandom, all the way up to people around the age of 30. You were arguing with some of these teenagers like you were a teenager yourself. If you want to really hold yourself at a high level of accountability on the internet, then don't engage. You can say, yes, I blocked all of these people. You did not. You argued back with them several times and kept coming from the band you kept coming for Mitchell, you kept coming for us. So naturally, we kept coming back because who's going to sit there and let themselves lay down and die? You, for one, are a prime example of that. You didn't just let it go. We would have let it go, I feel like, had you just let it go. But it's the fact that you kept egging it on. Numerous people on my timeline were talking about it saying that had this dude just let it go, they would have let it go. And these were mostly the people that were coming back to you with, like, you know, level-headed responses. Yeah, me leaving memes for one thing. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious, but, like... There's a lot worse things people could do. You said it yourself, you weren't getting death threats. So there are a lot worse things people can do. I mean, it's a picture. It's a picture that's like a Simpsons caption. That's like, here's why you shouldn't have tweeted this. Now delete it. That's not attacking you. That's not anything. That's just leaving a meme. I leave memes on people's tweets all the time. It's nothing to it. Yes, the ones that are like, oh, you're irrelevant. You're this, you're that. Yeah, when you're sitting there and attacking and saying things about you, like I saw somebody on my timeline make a comment about your physical appearance and I thought that was kind of uncalled for. Um, it's just, it is what it is. It's, I said it in a tweet to you. I said, had you not kept going, we would not have. So. But MIDI did something that I feel is absolutely really, really wrong. It's really wretched to teach kids that follow you to do this. He went... Again, yes, there's young people in the fandom, but honestly, a lot of our fan base is 17 plus, so not necessarily children. And even in this case, the F it, drag his ass nonsense, I mean, again, you're insulting their fans and insulting us. Let me read the tweet that he responded to that with. It says, Chase Atlantic stands are some of the nastiest I've ever encountered. Ever encountered, sorry, I've encountered. Let me start over because I don't want to like misquote his tweet. Chase Atlantic stands are some of the nastiest I've encountered. I might do a video on them just because of how awful their fan base is. Nice work team. Enjoy loving a band that looks for, like poster boys for Fuckboy Weekly. The camera just randomly glitched and shut off. Love that. But anyway, what I was saying is I was reading the quote from his tweet. And it says, Chase Atlantic stands are some of the nastiest I've ever encountered. I've, I've read that twice wrong. Anyway, I think I read it right before the clip ended, but anyway. The Mitchell responded with, LMAO, F it, drag his ass, with that weird drooly emoji. I feel like when you come for somebody's fans, you are really putting yourself in that position to kind of get that kind of backlash. Is it necessarily right? No. But I feel like when you do that, you're going to get that, and that's just... <laughs> I don't want to be one of these, like, you're asking for it kind of people, but in this instance no one asks for bullying or anything like that but like i feel like because you said all that about the fan base you kind of were asking for it because no one's gonna sit there and let their fan base or anybody like that you know come for people that care about them or that they care about it's just not gonna happen so it is what it is at this point it should be done and over with everybody else has kind of moved on from it I have the majority of the fan base as mutuals on Twitter, and we've stopped talking about it, honestly. We're still talking about phases, we're ranking our favorite songs, we're making fan art, we're moving on. 
again, continuing. That's the thing that gets me. It's continuing, 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 continuing. If you don't stop or put a stop to it or just leave it alone, it is going to continue. And out on a limb and tweeted out, LMAO, fuck it, dragged his ass. And that was obviously directed at me. It directly violates Twitter's terms of service to incite somebody to go harass somebody. In my years, I know that I've been very, very harsh. I've been very critical of people. But I have never said to somebody, go harass this person. That's absolutely fucked up. Fuck you to anybody, including Mitty, that does that. Yeah, fuck you. Why does he keep calling him Mitty? That's <laughs> like... I'm sorry to me that just that doesn't <laughs> the hell anyway Thank you Mitty for that appreciate it very much I kept it about the music in this review this is something that I'm tacking on at the end to any Chase Atlantic fans that made it to the end of this video I just want to say no hard feelings I get it you're probably younger the ones that were reaching out threatening me all these other things I guess I get it please don't continue to do that though I hope that you can learn something and take something away from this I blame your leaders out there, the role models right now. They're the ones to blame for anybody going to attack other people just because you don't agree. And again, at the end of the day, I mean, people are like, who are you? Who are you to send this? Well, I'm a successful music critic. I can stand up on my own two feet and say that. And honestly, I was sent this record from their very label. So maybe you should talk to them next time before you're wondering why I'm bothering to listen to their music. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Okay, final thoughts. Basically, I don't think he made it sound like his, the entire fan base was coming after him when I know that they weren't. I went on there and looked through them and yes, there were some that were just like, oh, he's irrelevant. Like, who is he? We don't, we didn't know who you were. Sorry. Like, we didn't know who you were. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I listen to like music reviews and stuff like that on YouTube as you've never come up before. I didn't know who you were. That's why I had to look. I literally went on your profile, scrolled through and saw like what all you did. And I was like, oh, okay, this dude's a critic. And I clicked on the tweets and read through them. And there were some that were very, you know, kind of, there were some rude ones, but there were also a handful of them that went through and discussed like why they thought your opinion was incorrect and why they thought and why what you said was not very true but while there was a bunch of hateful ones there were also ones that were just saying that you weren't correct and that you they wanted to correct you and they wanted to tell you their perspective in a kind of respectful point of view um let me because I pulled this up from your twitter actually let me see um, where is that first tweet at? Because, like, I reply. Let me see. I can put my name in and I can. Like, for this is the only commentary that I put towards this. I said, You came for his appearance and his fans. And you expect him to just take it. Use your head, dude. Good luck reviewing their music in your video and in the future, just so you know. In the future, because I'm sure you'll peep back in to see what's going on next time they release something, just because that's what somebody that does what you've been doing does um because no matter what you say you're gonna be the one that's not taken seriously due to this you'll just look butthurt and roughly i think you gave it your own thoughts and i think that your review is very thorough and i think that this is falling it's your me. anyway i think your review is pretty thorough and i think that it covered the bases but I think that there were some elements that were very much so kind of skewed by what the fans did and what you think of the fandom. Because I, for one, have issues with musicians that I base off of the fandom. I clearly am an example of that. I can understand why that would turn you away from Chase's music, but just know that we are not all like that. For every... Most of the comments and stuff were probably... I mean... Just know that we're not like that. Not all of us anyway. And two, I think a lot of the comments that were left, the memes and stuff, got misconstrued. I think you took it as us attacking or really we were just trolling, which I get. And I know you mentioned like, oh, it's just, you know, annoying, annoying, annoying. But yeah, that happens. That's Twitter. I mean, people do stuff like that. But I do agree you shouldn't be attacked. I do agree that it was wrong whoever did choose to attack you from our fan base and I apologize on behalf of them but all in all 
I think a lot of this could be resolved just by dropping it. And I wanted to just respond to this because I thought it was ridiculous. And this is my last say on it. But I don't think that this is going to end, sadly enough. I mean, I am putting out a video about it, which is, I know, contributing. I won't, like, say that it's not. But I wanted to kind of give my full kind of take on the whole situation and on top of it respond to your review and kind of see what you said. I did think it was pretty funny at times because you did in fact sound like how we talk about the guys. So I mean I don't know if you went through our pages and we're just kind of like trolling through but yeah. I did want to read through I did want to respond to it but at the same time you know I didn't knew I know that it's contributing. Um but yeah, because this is out, it's not going to die. It's going to continue. I think what you said about, well, now I'm definitely going to do a video on them because of their fans just added fuel to the fire. At this point, if I were, if I made a comment about fans of a band or a band in general and I got backlash, I would just let it go and move on with my life. You gave your thoughts on this album on Twitter as you said as you said, as you did. I think Phases was a good album. To me, I think my heart will always hold on to the self-titled album. It's one of my favorite albums ever. Um, it holds a lot of my favorite songs on it from the band. Um, I have a tattoo of lyrics from one of the songs on my arm and yeah, I think I will always hold on to that but I really like Phases and I can't wait to hear it live because that's what changed a lot of my opinions about the older songs. Not like older, like way back into like the like metal about era, no. But like the songs from Self-Titled, I ended up growing to love that album that much more after I saw a bunch of the songs performed live. So I'm excited to hear Phases live eventually. So they've got to come back to North Carolina. But yeah, that's just kind of it. Um, If you want to follow me on my socials, they'll be down below. Um, I haven't filmed a video in a while, but I had to jump on to, like, say this. So, yeah. Bye. Also, this is a side note recorded later. Stream Faces by Chase Atlantic. Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music. Go get it. Go on their website and buy the physical CD record, whatever. I actually think that's sold out, so you can't do that. But... <laughs> Please stream this album because that's amazing and the boys worked really hard on it and yeah, they deserve all the love in the world. So please go stream phases.